So people, here we are again, back in the workshop. Right, so, my old man's come round. I've been doing some machine work on the mill. Let me just show you. Ooh, it's dark. And I've been doing, finishing these off. So putting the chamfer on the back, that drilled out, and all those will get tapped as and when I need them. So they're all hiding away under there. Beautiful job. So my old man's come round and he has made a floor. So this is for the next one. So this is, this technically, this is the bottom, right? So we built it the right way up, tacked it, flipped it, and this is the bottom. So it's all got some nice little welds on it. Just nice flowing welds. Got plenty of penetration in there. Got plenty of prep, weld prep, so the welds are deep enough because all that's going to get linish off. So tomorrow, I'm going out for a meal today. Meal tomorrow. I might be able to get this done tomorrow. All this is going to get linish back. But because the weld goes so deep, we're good for that. And it's going to get flipped over and the top side is going to get welded. Um... And then my die is coming Monday and then I've got a load more tube coming and then we'll start bending up some main hoops and that and drag you along with me. So yeah, well then, see you in the morning. Right, so we have a floor. So now what I'm going to do is I've got to linish all this bone, get rid of all these lovely little welds because this is the bottom, right? So I need to get this back flat on the table. So we're going to finish this off. We're going to flip it. And we're going to fully weld the bottom side. Top side. When it's the right way up. Yeah. All right. Let's get some shit done. I mean stuff. Sorry. Stuff. That's that, people. Clean. Clean the table. Remember, clean your table, people. Clean your table. And pretty welded. The other side. Ugh. So, all my welds, I'm a pretty competent welder, to be honest. So, You've got to make sure your welds are good. I mean, look how much penetration we're getting. Yeah, plenty of heat in them. But remember, you don't want to get too much heat. Because if you get too much heat, you'll start drooping the material. And basically, if you've got too much heat, the, the steel loses its strength because it loses its structure. So anyway, yeah. So, we flipped. We're fully welded now, this base. We're going to leave it here to cool naturally before we unclamp it. Because... When you weld the one side, it will it will bow. So what you do, you first of all, is you weld all the sides on the inside, which gives it that little bit of strength. Fully weld, linish back. I linish back because of the floor, and it's got to be bolted to your table square. Linish back, flip it over, clean. Even in your weld, where you're going to weld, clean. Fully weld. 
And that's what you end up with. Yeah. All your welds. Got to be good, clean, tidy. If they look tidy, they're going to be good. As long as you've got your penetration. All right, so next, that's done. I've got my radio sound brackets ready. My tunnel. This one's having a tunnel in. I've got my 180s for that. Steam wrap brackets on. I've got a machine, the plugs for the where the rear thing is going, the rear uh, shocks. Tell me on one half ten. Should I have a crack at that now? Go on, we'll have a right, crack. Right, so I've got six of these. Right, they are just solid steel, <clears throat> and they are thirty nine mil, forty mil, forty mil. Right, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn these down until 10 mil from the end right do a winds up to 10 mil yeah these haven't got to be precise to accurate right because all these are doing is holding the top shock but they need to be a snug fit in the cage yeah <clears throat> So what I'm going to do here is give these a quick mark, and this is all just doing this so I know how far to put them in the chuck, yeah? So all this will be done anyway. Right, because this is 40 mil, I think. 40, yeah, so we've got a couple of mil to take off anyway, so we'll clean them up. So what we'll do now... Wait, stop it. Going to clamp that in close to me line, yeah. It's only problem you got all this stuff on, he's trying to get it. There we go. So, we've got a couple of mil to take off, so it's going to be it's going to square itself up anyway. So, we'll lock that, lock that, and then what we need to do. Get our piece of tube, we'll keep it here. 38 mil CDS. We'll measure the inside just so we've got an accurate reading. 32.7. So 32.7. Zero. And you pop that on there, and it tells you you've got 7.7 .7 millimeters to come off. Depending on what you do. So, let's take a quick rough cut first, just to get rid of some material. took our rough cut so we know we want 32.7 and we're at 37.8 so we want five mil off that don't we so we'll go two at a time I think keep it cool as I can So 
have a quick measure, shall we? Don't have a shoot, you want 32.7? We're on 33.74. We'll take a little bit of mill off. Size. So uh, 22.77, 22.76, 22.6. That should be a nice fit on there. Just give it a little bit of a buff. Let's <coughs> do some restorations. A bit of a chamfer. Actually, no, I want to clean that face first. So, we want to just take this face off, make it nice and square. There we go. Chamfer it out. Get it in the tube. Have a look. Right, so what I'm looking for on this the tube, I want this to slip in. I don't really want to have to hammer it as much as I did before. Zero wobble. Well, apart from the machine. So, I can agree that. So now, <clears throat> we want to put a 7 16 hole through it. So we're going to use the half inch 20 tap, half inch UNF basically, for the top of the shocks. I'm just going to do the one with you. And then I can just knock them all out later. Fast. Start the chamfer. So, then find me drill. Get a little lube. Beat a bit of load. Slow it down a bit more. Good. Take it out, flip it over, and do the other side. And now we could just. Or. Grab it. So much better, look. See? <clears throat> so now we're going to take this outside down to 38, face the front. <clears throat> and we're just going to put a little bit of a stick out to help go into the shock. Not much, doesn't need much. What did I do my tool? There it is. Got all my tools lined up across the top and it's a bit fucking finding stuff all the time. So I've only got to take two mil off this remember. So I'm gonna push it up.
37.89, not going to live with that. Now I'm going to change that to four for that one. And I'm going to drive it in with the back, put a little bit of a chamfer on the back. See if it fits, that is just about. Slowly drive me to. This is all I made, just the shocks. Yeah, that'll go into the center of the shock. Jobs are good, in. and that where that weld prep is is where it will get welded into the tube. Just like that. Easy as pie, look. So even though it's a bit of machining. And that'll get fully welded around there. Shock, that'll help just boost the shock off. It's about 5 mil, Which is about what I did on this one. We've got... Stop doing that. So, zero. We want about 5 mil. We have 5.2, 5.4 I think I saw. 5.3. So yeah. It looked like a guess, but I'm pretty good on the lathe. So, here we go. One down. I'll do the other five when you're not lucky. Be sneaky, shall I? So, yeah. Here we go. Nice and simple. That's going to get fully tapped. Say so half inch U and F. Beautiful. Right, people. Thanks for watching again. Give me a thumbs up and a like if you don't mind. And you can always subscribe to tag along. And if you want to see all my videos, just press that little bell. Thanks very much, people. See you later.